Hi there, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the use of the search and filter function using MindMeister. Now you can search and filter your mind map by using various criteria using the filter view which is in the top right hand corner in this search box here. So imagine you want to look for a particular idea or subtopic on your mind map. Without looking through all the branches, you can type in the thing you're looking for. So I'm going to type in hairdressers. Hairdressers, rather. And I can see on my mind map that hairdressers, it comes under my Wednesday task for personal. You can also filter the search by choosing who perhaps is editing the mind map, who's owning a certain task, or by a particular icon. So I want to search on the editing users. There are no hairdressers editing my my map. I'll be pleased to know, but I can type in my own name, press enter, and I can see here on the left that there are eighteen matches of um, Ruth editing this my map. So if I use these two arrows here, I can move between all the different areas on the my map that I have edited. So for example, on this one, I can see the details of when Ruth modified it. So it's very simple. Similarly, if you want to see who owns a particular task on the mind map without looking through all of the subtopics individually, you can click on task owner and all the tasks that Ruth has been assigned to will appear. So you can see that Ruth has got this task to write up the minutes from last week. So it's very easy to search for yourself or another colleague by using the search and filter. There are no icons on my mind map at present, but if there were, you could use the icon search filter to search for a particular icon on your mind map. So there you have it, the search and filter tool on MyMeister.